Bridget Phillips from the Shadow Secretary of State for Education. You're here at Passmore's. What have you learned today? Uh, it's been brilliant to be here at Passmore's. Um, I've just been chatting with the young people about what they want to achieve uh, for the future. They are so hopeful, so full of ambition, and they really want to achieve great things. I think it's the job of government to give young people more opportunity to break down the barriers that lots of our young people face in getting on in life. Is this a model school, even though you've only been short time, do you think this is a model school in, in Vic Gardar's a very well known figure, but aspiration, inclusivity, would you say it's a model? Uh, what I've seen particularly of the work around inclusion I think is incredibly impressive, seeking to make sure that the school serves the whole community. Um, but that does mean that sometimes we have to put in place additional support for children that face, uh, face barriers to their learning or need extra help while they're here and I was really impressed with the autism provision and the inclusion provision that I've seen. We have an MP here, Robert Halfon, 13 years, in embedded in the education department, department as a for state apprentices. It's, um, do you think he's doing a good job? I think that the Conservatives have let down Harlow and let down people across our country for 13 years and I'll be back here pretty soon campaigning in the general election to make sure we return a Labour MP for Harlow and get our country going again. Just one more question on the, on the back of that. So what would be the difference? If you came back here in 2025, in, in June 25, what would be the difference immediately? Uh, I'd make sure that all young people get access to work experience and careers guidance. I'd also make sure there's more mental health support here in our schools, but also I'd take away the tax breaks that private schools enjoy and I'd invest that money in schools like Passmore so they can recruit and retain more brilliant teachers to give our children a great start.